Hello, and welcome to the third episode of the 100 Spin Test, where I take roulette strategies and deliberately play them poorly. Whether one plays at home online, or in a real casino, there are too many distractions to prevent people from playing perfectly, so the goal of this channel is to honestly see if these strategies can deal with real-world situations. True to the channel's name, I will run 100 spins this session. Thanks to the house edge which varies between 1.35 to 7.69%, a large number of consecutive unmodified bets can drain a bankroll. The simulator that I use is Microgaming and Switch Studios Roulette. I play this one on the non-Ontario version of the Canadian Jackpot City Casino. For the video I'll be using a real table, but we're only playing in demo mode. It's not live but with the exception of the tight betting timelines, this should still give you an idea of what to expect. Most online casinos use the European wheel with a 2.7% house edge, so that's what I'm using here. Outside of these demos, I play on a French roulette table made by Evolution on Lotte Quebec's casino website. It has the lowest house edge. You might not have access to my sites if you are not in Quebec but you should be able to find local sites with these games. Keep in mind that casinos are not there to make you rich. Be careful with your money. Bet what you can afford to lose and do not limit your research on strategies to the success stories. Finally, all roulette players should remember that no system works all the time. Take your risks accordingly. Today's test strategy is Double Bubble which was submitted to the CEG Dealer School by Vamptris. I've included a link to David and Alex's June 19, 2023 video below. It is a variation on the 5 double street strategy but the center double street has jackpot numbers. To simplify things, I've reduced the unit size to a single dollar, euro or pound. There are 30 winning numbers out of a possible 37 giving you a 81% likelihood of winning. The center double street will net a 76% profit and the four other double streets will net you a 6% profit. Without a progression, you will need up to 17 wins to recover from a loss on this. A loss is devastating and difficult to come back from. Fortunately, they are rare and jackpots hasten the recovery. Based on the design of the empty chart at the bottom right of the screen, I'm giving you an idea which way this test is going to go. With that out of the way, let's speed things up and watch the progress. I'll be back at the end to summarize. The double bubble strategy as played was a winner, but every system fails at some point and we got lucky. The numbers won 82 times which was expected, but it was the frequency of the jackpot numbers hitting that made this session profitable. We got 10 more jackpots than we would have with a more evenly distributed sample. We reached a high water mark of $98 and a low water mark of minus $35 before settling at an $88 profit. I performed some statistical tests on the data. The chi-square test indicated that these results were likely not random. We may revisit this strategy at a later date with a new set of spins. The average number of spins before we won was 1.2 with a standard deviation of 
That means that 65% of wins happened between 1 and 2 spins and 95% happened within 1 and 3 spins. The largest number of losses between wins was 3. If you play the breaks rather than the trend, then consider sitting out 2 consecutive losing spins before attempting to bet. Don't press your losses. You'll dig a bigger hole. These tips won't guarantee wins, but may increase your chances. Good luck until the next time.